If you have a PolyMesh 3D object loaded inside ZBrush, underneath the tool palette there is an initialize tab. Opening this initialize tab up, you'll see a series of buttons and resolution sliders at the bottom. Clicking on any of these buttons will transform your current PolyMesh 3D model into a new primitive. So with the dog loaded here, if I click on QCube, I'll end up with a cube. If I click on QSphere, I'll get a sphere. And if I click on cylinder in X, Y, or Z, I'll get a cylinder in a varying direction. Now this process is undoable, so if you ended up clicking on one of these buttons by accident, just hit Control Z and it will bring back your original PolyMesh 3D object. Now in addition to just converting your PolyMesh 3D object to a new primitive, you can also change the resolution sliders down here. So by default, if I click on QCube, I'm going to end up with a cube like this. If I decided that I actually wanted a cube with one poly per side, I can just come here to the resolution sliders and change these all to one, and then click QCube again, and I will get a new primitive with one single poly per side. This initialize menu will allow you to quickly create base meshes to sculpt with Dynamesh on, or use any of the ZModeler brush features.